Good morning, hot dogs, and welcome to the morning announcements. Hooligans, pictures, welcoming new staff, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Attention, parking tags are due by August 20th. Parking lot sweeps will occur after August 20th, so write it down. And don't forget, drug testing forms are due by August 20th as well. So if you want to participate in sports, then make sure to do that before you try out. The theater is back in action. They'll be hosting Hogan's auditions next Tuesday after school in the theater. For everyone interested, there will be an improv workshop on Monday to give people a chance to learn and practice before the auditions. Also, auditions for the fall play will be next Wednesday, August 18th. You don't need anything other than a positive attitude to audition. No experience needed. Auditions will be right after school in the theater. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Taylor. Now let's send it to weather and sports with our usual Pedro and Austin. Hello again, everyone. For today's weather, it will be 67 degrees with a high of 79 and a cooling low of 59 degrees. Today, there is a chance of scattered thunderstorms, so make sure you don't get struck by a lightning, especially when you hold a golf club in the air. And as for the weekend, it will be cloudy. Lucky for those who don't like rain. That will be it for a scary Friday the 13th. Now to sports with Austin. Thank you, Pedro. Good morning. The football team has a scrimmage tonight at Central Catholic at 7 o'clock. Girls and boys varsity soccer both have scrimmages on Saturday. The girls will start at 9 a.m. at home, and the boys will play at 10 a.m. at Hamilton Heights. Now back to your hosts. Picture day is coming up Thursday, August 26th, so seniors, be sure to see Ms. Schaefer or your community teacher to reserve a spot for your senior picture. These will be taken in the collaboration room, too. And picture forms should have been handed out today in the community. You can use this form or the link in the chatter to order. Esmeralda Cruz of the Clinton County Purdue Extension Office is helping organize a Hispanic Heritage Festival. As part of the festival, there will be an essay contest. Let's find out a little bit more about the contest. Hello everybody, my name is Esmeralda Cruz and I am one of the committee members organizing this year's Hispanic Heritage Festival, to which all of you are invited. It will be taking place on Saturday, September 18th from 4 to 10 p.m. But specifically today, we are here because we would like to extend an invitation to all of you to submit an essay for our essay contest for high school students. This essay contest is open to any student in grades 9 through 12 um, and this year's topic for the essay is what is the role of youth in establishing unity in a multicultural society? It's a relatively short essay. We're asking that the essay submitted be 500 words or less. The deadline to submit the essay will be on Wednesday, August 25th by 5 p.m. It needs to be emailed to me at cruise at frankfurt.k12.in.us. If you just look up my name as Esmeralda Cruz, I should come up, but if not, just be in the lookout for this flyer through your English class and you will see all of the details. When you see it, feel free to take a picture so that you remember uh, all the details with regards to the guidelines as well as the deadline, which you will see in bold down at the bottom. Um, we're hoping to see a lot of essays being submitted a couple of years ago when we had our first essay contest. It was such a rewarding experience for our judges to be able to hear the youth's perspective about living in a multicultural community. So we're hoping to get a lot of essay entry, entries this year. Um, we are very fortunate to have a group of 10 community judges and they will be tasked with reviewing your essays and selecting the top three winners. So we do have some prizes. Our first place winner will receive $200. Second place will receive $100, and third place will receive $50. You will also be recognized on stage the day of the actual festival, which again will be on Saturday, September 18th. For the student that is, that is placed as first place winner, we're going to ask that you please uh, read your essay 
on stage. And if that's something you're not comfortable with, um, at least ask you for permission so that we can read it on your behalf just to share your voice with our community the day of the event. We also would like to thank our sponsor for this essay contest, which is Lions Club. So thank you so much to them for donating the funds necessary for us to be able to make the awards available to the students. So again, please submit an essay for this essay contest by Wednesday, August 25th by 5 p.m. Essay topic again is, what is the role of youth in establishing unity in a multicultural society? We look forward to receiving your essays and we look forward to seeing you and your families at the festival on Saturday, September 18th. Thank you. Today, we're welcoming new staff members Deborah Ewing for Bookstore, Chris Everett doing technology and engineering, Dern Longnecker working with building trades, Jordan Floro with science, Sarah Garcia with bilingual para, Nathan Acker teaching physical education, Kevin Evans for exceptional needs, Kate McCormick with English, David Case with all mechanics, Tracy May for science, and Cheyenne Sham for student services. And to thank you for all of you joining us. Go Hot Dogs! For lunch today, lines 1 and 2 will be hot dogs, and 3 and 4 will be chicken nuggets. And for the upcoming lunch for Monday, we'll have Big Daddy Stuff Sandwich and ham turkey wraps. So stay tuned to see where you can get them for lunch on Monday. Special happy birthday goes out to Elijah Oldham. So when you see him, make sure to tell him happy birthday. This is all for the announcements. If you want to know what's going down at FHS, then make sure to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell, and never miss another video. Have a lucky day, and see you on Monday.